After decades of underinvestment, we have fallen to 13th place globally in infrastructure. The American Jobs Plan will again transform America's roads and bridges, rail and transit, ports and airports for the better. So this is a jobs plan that is building America's economy from the middle class out, coming at just the right time. It's meeting the challenges that we face today, and it is fully paid for by making corporations to pay their fair share. We think it's unacceptable that there are major profitable corporations in this country paying less in taxes than a teacher or a firefighter, not in terms of a percentage, uh, but in terms of dollars, uh, specifically in many cases uh, paying zero. I think because it's really important to understand that American competitiveness happens in a context. And when you see other countries, uh, our, our allies, also our strategic competitors, doing more than we are, it challenges that fundamental idea that American life is what it is, partly because America is in first place in so many of, of these uh, aspects of, of our national life. Only America's not in first place in infrastructure. Like I said, we're in 13th. So when you have a strategic competitor like China uh, investing sometimes multiples of what we are in forms of, of transportation, uh, we have to make a decision about whether we're content to be left behind or whether we actually want to remain number one. And, and for my dime, there's no good reason why we should settle for less, why we should be content uh, that it's nothing against Chinese citizens, but I'm not content that a Chinese citizen can count on a dramatically better standard of, let's say, train travel than a U.S. citizen. I think Americans should always have the best, and I think that's the tone that the president uh, sets every day. To follow up on that, is it 